Hello brown ladies, we are here with another tutorial where Melissa at Miss Kim on stage That's me Is going <laughs> to be doing this look right here Now I'm gonna come in closer because she did an awesome job It's so sultry Oh, it's so pretty We yes. had chocolate covered cherries I think she said strawberry Strawberry, <laughs> something red she Deep rich. That was her inspiration it for was. this sultry cranberry look. And because I mostly wear nude lip, it was her duty to make sure that I had a colored lip. Absolutely. So if you guys like this look right here, continue watching. started so Deandra's eyebrows are already completed so what we're gonna do is go on with soft ochre by MAC it's one of their paint pots this will be used as our primer this allows your eyeshadow it gives your eyeshadow something to adhere to it allows your shadows to stay on all day and be vibrant you can apply this with your finger or a brush whichever is more comfortable and preferable for you you're gonna put this on the mobile part of the eyelid and you're gonna make sure to do both eyes Next, we're going to use our transition color. We're using the color Rust by Melt Cosmetics. Um, you're going to use a fluffy blending brush. We're using the Morphe 504 blending brush. It's one of my favorite blending brushes. And we're going to go back and forth, back and forth using windshield wiper motions or small circular motions. I go back and forth between the two. Back and forth, back and forth until the color is built to your liking. Okay, and now this is the fun part. We're going in with Enigma by Melt Cosmetics. This is an additional crease color we're using to give us that cranberry, that sultry cranberry look. Um, I'm going right below the transition, that rust color, um, but right above the mobile part of the eyelid. Again, we're using windshield wiper motions, going back and forth, back and forth. Now to add some depth in the eye, we're using the color Rot by Melt Cosmetics. We're going to use this as our crease color and the outer V portion of our eye. We're using a pencil blending brush by Makessa. It is the E310 brush. What you're looking for is a smaller, more dense blending brush, and that allows you to do the detailed work in the crease and the outer V portion of the eye. And here I am just showing you we're using the color Rot by Melt Cosmetics. Now we're applying a base for the lid color that we're going to use. I'm using the color Rubbish by Melt Cosmetics. We're using a flat eyeshadow brush to pack on the color on the mobile part of the eyelid. What you're going to want to do is pat. So you're just going to dip the brush into the color you're using and pat it onto the mobile portion of the eye. Now we're going in with the color Millionaire by ColourPop. It is a very bronzy, sparkly color. What you're going to want to do to give a more vibrant look to the Millionaire is spray your brush with either some water or some Fake Plus spray. Dip it on the brush and then just lightly pack it onto um, the eyelid. You can use a brush or your finger. Um, sometimes I prefer to use the pot of my finger. I just feel like it gives me more control and I can pack the color on where I want it to go. So because I felt like we lost a little bit of the cranberry that I really wanted, we're going in with Lime Crime Venus 2 palette. We're going to use this cranberry red color. And we're just going to go right back over that crease color um, just to add, again, that cranberry back to the eye. I really want the cranberry to stand out and be the focal point of this eyelid. Now to bring a little bit of a soft smoky look, we're going in again with the Venus Lime Crime Palette. And we're going to use that chocolate color just in the outer V portion of her eye. Um, again, this will just bring a very nice soft smoky eye. Not very intense, but just a very nice soft chocolate and cranberry smoky eye. Because I decided I wanted the smoky eye to be a little bit more intense, we're going in with Blackout by Melt Cosmetics just in the outer V and we're going to deepen up um, the outside, the outer V portion of the eye and intensify the smoky eye look. 
So the trick with using black is to go in very, very lightly and blend as you apply. That will prevent you from going in too heavy with the black and overpowering what you're trying to do so your smoky eye doesn't look like you got hit in the eye and you're recovering from a black eye. So go in very, very lightly and blend as you apply. So you can see here that I'm going in circular motions that allows me to blend the lid color with the black and ensure that it doesn't overpower what I'm trying to do and ruin the entire look. And again, because I felt like we lost some of the vibrancy of the lid color, I'm just applying a little bit more of that Millionaire by ColourPop on the lid just to bring some sparkle back onto the lid. So now that the eyes are done, we're going to take a makeup wipe and wipe off any fallout that we may have received from applying the eyeshadow so that we have a nice smooth surface to apply our foundation. Now we're going to prep the skin using MAC Moisture Infusion. For reference, Deandra does have dry skin, so this product does have glitter in it. Um, so it will bring some luminosity to her skin that she may be looking for that she doesn't naturally have since her skin is combination to dry. Now we're going in with MAC match master with the real techniques beauty sponge that is damp you're going to lightly apply this onto the skin pouncing it bouncing it onto the skin and this allows you to blend and buff it into your skin for a nice smooth finish And now it's time to highlight. We're using LA Pro Girl in the color Fawn, one of our favorite brown girl friendly highlighters. And we're going to be using that same Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to blend the concealer into the skin. Still using the color Fawn, we're applying the concealer to under the eye area, on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, and on to the chin. Now to prevent creasing, we're going in Sasha Buttercup. We're going to use that same Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and we're just going to apply this in all the areas that we applied the concealer and this will set the concealer, prevent it from moving and creasing throughout the day. Now we're going to gently wipe away the powder. We're using the Morphe E53 brush. Now to set the entire face, we're just using a Costco brush and our mineralized skin finish by MAC in Dark Deep. And we're going to go over the entire face to set everything into place. Now to get those cheekbones snatched, we're going in with a angled brush by Coastal Scent and Film Noir by MAC and this will be used to contour and chisel out those cheekbones. So I ended up applying way too much Film Noir onto her face so we're going to show you this little hack that Deandra taught me if you ever do this in order to calm that down and fix your mistake. Okay, so <laughs> way too much. So what I'm doing is I am putting a little bit of uh, foundation on my hand, a little bit of concealer, and I'm going to mix the two together and erase this bottom line. I was about to say, you gotta do more than that. <laughs> no, but I wanted to have the definition of mm -hmm. what I was doing first.
So now she's just going back over her skin with the mineralized skin finish by MAC in the color Dark Deep to set the concealer and the foundation that she applied over the film noir to erase that harshness. And voila! We have fixed our mistake. So now I'm going in very, very lightly with film noir and I'm going to very, very gently go back over um, the contour area just to ensure that those cheekbones stand out the way that I want them to. And because I had a little bit of PTSD with this film noir, I'm letting Deandra contour her forehead. Again, we're using the film noir by MAC and the same angled brush by Crystal Scent. And now we're using one of our favorite blushes by MAC. This is Fever. And just a fluffy blush and applying the blush to the apples of the cheekbone. Okay, this is where the look really comes together. We're going to line the lips with K by ColourPop. Then we're going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Sad Girl. It's a beautiful cranberry color that has a little bit of a metallic finish. It is absolutely gorgeous and it plays really well off the cranberry color that we have in the eyes. So we will finish the look by adding lashes and liner off camera and we'll be right back with the completed look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this sultry cranberry look that we have going on. It's so, so beautiful. Um, please make sure that you follow us on social media. I am at Miss Kev on stage. I am at Deandra Giselle. Please do not forget to subscribe on your way out. And there is a bell down here. Click it. That way you know when we upload new videos, you'll get a notification. That's important because you want to stay connected to us. Yes. So until next time, ladies, bye.